What's up, YouTube? Romans 8, 5, Paul's revealing some of the whys we have to be born again of the water and spirit. It's a must. For they that are after the flesh do mind the things of the flesh, but they that are after the spirit the things of the spirit. For to be carnally minded is death, but to be spiritually minded is life and peace. Because the carnal mind is enmity against God, for it is not subject to the law of God, neither indeed can be. So then they that are in the flesh cannot please God. We have to listen to the Spirit. But ye are not in the flesh, but in the Spirit. If so be that the Spirit of Christ dwell in you. Notice he mentions the Holy Ghost as the Spirit of Christ. The Spirit of God. It's the same Spirit. There's only one Spirit. Now, if any man have not the Spirit of Christ, he is none of his. What's that mean? You weren't born again. You might have listened to the baloney preachers that said, uh, Romans 10 saves you. Okay? And it doesn't mean that. That was a process of Paul bringing them to an Acts 19 experience, where Paul baptized in Jesus' name, laid hands, and they got the gift of the Holy Ghost, speaking in tongues. Okay? That's the born again of the water in the Spirit. So it says, now, if any man have not the Spirit of Christ, if you've never received the baptism of the Holy Ghost, where John Baptist prophesied this was Jesus Christ who's going to baptize you with the Holy Ghost in fire. He is none of his, meaning you were never saved, you were never born again, even though the baloney preachers told you you were. You believed the lie and you were damned. According to Jesus, that he said that. Beware of these false preachers of Mark 16. Okay, look at what Jesus said in Mark 16. Check it out. Verse 10 of, uh, And if Christ be in you, the body is dead because of sin. That means you repented of your sins. Now Christ entered. But the body is dead because of sin, but the spirit is life because of righteousness. Meaning your spirit, your soul is going to be saved. Your body is going to go to dust. Okay? The process. This is the process. Acts uh, verse 11. But if the spirit of him that raised up Jesus from the dead dwells in you, does he dwell in you? Have you received the baptism of the Holy Ghost? They've been preaching it. It's the Great Commission, being born again of water and spirit. John 3. Not John 3, 16. John 3. Read the whole thing. I'm trying to save you from the baloney preachers because they're liars, okay? And they give you partial scripture, and then they make up the rest of it baloney. Baloney and cheese on mayo, you know? They make it taste real good, but in the end it brings death. Eat baloney every day and you will die because it's poison. <laughs> okay, verse 11 again. But if the spirit of him that raised up Jesus from the dead dwell in you, he that raised up Christ from the dead shall also quicken your mortal bodies, by his spirit that dwells in you. Now notice it says the spirit of him. Revealing. It was the spirit of Christ. Now it says the spirit of him. Where they're talking about the father. What are they telling you? Christ is the father. Just like the prophecy of Isaiah 9.6. Don't believe the baloney preachers. But if the spirit of him will raise up Jesus from the dead dwell in you. He that raised up Christ... Christ raised up his own spirit? Yeah. But he, but through the process of the Godhead, Father, Son, Holy Ghost, three different processes of one spirit that became flesh. John 1, 14. John 1, 1. Okay? Don't get confused. Don't get confused. He that raised up Christ from the dead shall also quicken your mortal bodies by his spirit that dwells in you. Verse 12, now we know it's the Spirit of the Father, the Spirit of Christ. Verse 12, Before, therefore, brethren, we are debtors not to the flesh to live after the flesh. For if you live after the flesh, the works of the flesh will kill you. They're listed, and Paul listed several times. Excuse me, you shall die. But if, for if you live after the flesh, you shall die. But if ye through the Spirit do mortify the deeds of the body, ye shall live. This has to be a big learning curve because I still have not uh, com completely en encapsulated this understanding in my little brain in 24 years of serving God. But it's a process. Everything's a process. 
For if ye live after the flesh, ye shall die. But if ye through the Spirit do mortify the deeds of the body, ye shall live. So it's a process of becoming more like Jesus, becoming more holier, more pure. You fall, you repent, you get up. You fall, you repent, you get up. That's how every most everybody lives. And if you attain those levels of, hey, I don't fall anymore. I don't fall anymore. And the miracles probably will start happening. Just like Jesus. It's a process. I've been in that place where, oh, you know, I'm not going to say this and that and uh, go into that, but the supernatural has worked at times in my life. And I've seen it in others. Has it has it been consistent? Absolutely not. Because the vacillation of holiness, unholiness, sin, you know, Repentance, you know, I haven't ascertained that that dimension where I can stay there. That's, you know, that's above me. You know, I'm not there yet. Hey, but I'm not quitting either. So, hey, we'll see. For if you live after the flesh, you shall die. But if you through the Spirit do mortify the deeds of the body, you shall live. For as many as are led by the Spirit of God, they are the sons of God. Uh, that's uh, 8.14. Romans 8, 14, that for as many as are led by the Spirit of God, they are the sons of God. That is the importance of hearing Him, like that video I just made, Acts 8, Philip. For ye have not received the spirit of bondage again to fear, but have received the spirit of adoption, whereby we cry, Abba, Father. So when we get the Spirit of Christ, we cry, Abba, Father. What's that mean? Christ is your Father in the flesh. Don't confuse it. The Father became the Son. This is not confusing. Why do they always try to confuse you and tell you there's a Trinity when that book, the Bible says that's a baloney? Okay. This bear, the Spirit beareth, the Spirit itself beareth, with, beareth witness with our spirit that we are the children of God. That's why you need the baptism of the Holy Ghost. Jesus said you must will not enter heaven, cannot see heaven, must have to enter the kingdom of God. Okay? So, I'm just trying to help you along your way. That's all for now. God bless.